This is uh, the watercolor and oil pastel mixed media project called Storm Watching. The first thing you do is you get your watercolor paper, turn it vertically, draw a line down the center, and a line across horizontally. Number your squares one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to outline with a sharpie so that you can see this on camera, but normally you draw this with a pencil. And square number two, almost halfway down, I'm going to draw a triangle. And then underneath the triangle I draw a square or a rectangle. And then underneath that rectangle, another rectangle. These are kind of trying to keep these all parallel, these lines. And then under that I'm going to do a curved type frowny face, long skinny rectangle to go with, that wraps around the lighthouse. And then from there in square two to four I'm going to draw a straight line all the way down into square number four. And then in square two and four over here I will draw another straight line for the lighthouse all the way down. It's kind of crooked. That's okay. And then in square three and four I'm going to draw the foreground which is the cliff in which the lighthouse sits. Now just remember this would be done in pencil. Here are the guide lights or the light coming out of the lighthouse in the night or in darkness. And here I just did some lightning streaks. Now this of course would be done lightly in pencil but all you have the students do is just do wiggly lines that represent lightning. They can do it any way they want. They just take their pen and let it go. There. So there's your drawing. All four squares. Next you take a black crayon or a black oil pastel. I like the black oil pastels because they're richer in color than the crayons. The crayons look waxy. So I outline all these areas that I want to color black, just like a coloring book. I outline here and here and the foreground here. That's the only things that will be black in this picture. And then I start coloring really solid these areas using my oil pastel. Just like this, I use the side of it and just move down and color in all those areas. Now, with the white oil pastel or white crayon, you would trace over the lightning marks, over the pencil marks, very hard. And then your picture would look like this. This is the complete oil pastel coloring and the lightning is outlined. And next you go to watercolors. The first thing I'm going to do is wet my brush and then very lightly go into the blue color. With the younger students, tell them it's like a butterfly kiss, very lightly swirling. You don't want a lot of blue on this because the, this part is going to be very light here where the light is guided by the lighthouse. So that part's very light. So that's light blue. You don't even have to cover it solid. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Can you see that, Steve, on the camera? Move that up a little. No, up. Move the camera up. There you go. Just the light. Very light blue right there. Okay, then you can go and darken your blue all around the painting or the drawing like this. Now I'm working vertically so this may drip but you're going to be working flat. The students are working flat. You're not. And it won't drip as much. So I'm going to cover all the four squares with a darker blue. See how you can see that lightning showing up? I'm just pouring all this in. Watercolor resist is what this is called. And I'm putting kind of a wet on, not wet on wet, but wet on dry 
technique here with a darker blue so that that guiding light is lighter. You can even go over here. Don't go into the lighthouse. The tip of the lighthouse is supposed to be white. You can even paint over this. Okay, so there I have my blues. Okay, then I'm going to wipe this out. I don't want that to get in there. So next I'm going to take uh, purple. Just to make it a little darker and a little bit more storm-like. And add purple right here. right below that guideline, just to show a little more darkness here. And you can even put a little purple over all around here. I may put a little down here just for a little reflective light. You don't have to. And maybe a little bit back here just to show there's purple on this side. Once it dries, if there's time, you can go back over these colors just to make them darker, but don't go over the guiding light part. It should not, it should remain light because that's where the beacon is. So that is the watercolor project, watercolor resist. I'm going to show you the final project. There's this one, and the final project will look like this once it's dry. As you can see, I went over the watercolor. Once it dried, I went over it with another coat. Not, not on this part, not on the guiding light, but on everything else. So there it is.